Hi, welcome back to Inner Element. I'm Mike Gideon, Customer Technical Services Manager at Materion. And today we're going to explore our first technical topic, what makes a good spring material for electrical connector applications. Now there are many different types and sizes of springs, but what follows is going to be true for all types, shapes, and sizes. So I'm going to define a spring as a device where you'd apply deflection at one end to generate a force in response to that deflection. Or conversely, you can look at it as applying a force at one end that results in a given deflection of the spring. Uh, basic definitions, we'll start with a stiffness. So for a stiff spring, which means you have a high force at a small deflection or a high spring rate, you can get that by using a wider, thicker, or shorter spring. A uh, flexible spring, which is a small force at a high deflection or a low spring rate, you can get by using a narrower, thinner, or longer spring. Or my favorite way of modifying spring behavior is by choosing a material with specific properties tailored specifically for the goals of your spring application. For example, if you want to maximize the spring rate, you can use a material with a high elastic modulus. If you want to increase the peak force, you need to use a very high elastic modulus for good stiffness and also increase the yield strength to handle the higher stress. If you want to maximize the stroke length or the deflection of the spring, you need high resilience, which is simply the ratio of the yield strength to elastic modulus. So high yield strength, low elastic modulus. If you want to maximize the amount of energy the spring can be absorbed, for example, if it's an electronic device that needs to survive drop tests, then the material needs to have a high modulus of resilience, which is the ratio of the square of the yield strength to the elastic modulus. And if you want to maximize the number of operating cycles, like for example, if Signector you're going to be plugging in and unplugging many thousands of times, then you're going to need increased fatigue strength to prevent those fatigue cracks from forming and propagating. If you want to maximize the amount of electrical current your spring can carry, then you need high electrical and thermal conductivity. Furthermore, if you're going to be operating at elevated temperatures, you're also going to need stress relaxation resistance to resist the negative effects of the high temperatures. And lastly, if you want to minimize the amplitude of any potential vibrations, if it's in an engine part compartment, for example, then you need a high elastic modulus to help increase the stiffness. So thanks for tuning in. And as always, please feel free to reach out to me or any one of my team members with any questions. And we'll see you next time.